fourth problem steam enters a turbine at 100 bar so let us first draw a turbine steam at 100 bar 600 degrees centigrade and uh, undergo the steady adiabatic expansion process so this is adiabatic and expands the exit the steam exits the turbine at a pressure of 0 0.1 bar that all these are inferior then it does done some work so and the steady operation steady operation which is given steady what will be the ma possible maximum specific work output of the turbine and the corresponding exit state of the steam that is the first part okay second part is so let us say this is inlet i will say one and this is exit this is two so we are worried about the steady operation it is like what is the change between the properties at state one and state two or inlet and exit so first one is the maximum possible maximum specific work output the second is if the isentropic efficiency of the turbine is 0.9 what is the exit state specific enthalpy of the steam and the specific entropy change during the process okay now solution p1 equal to 100 bar t1 equal to 600 degrees centigrade P2 equal to 0.1 bar. Now fix the state. So what are the things I need? This is a steady state steady flow device. Steady state steady flow device. So this means I need enthalpy value basically for the first law and the S, S value entropy value. Okay, now please understand that for possible maximum work output, okay, the expansion process should be reversible. So that means thus for reversible adiabatic expansion delta S will be equal to 0. So that means the state 2, I will say yes because this is state to yes which is due to an isentropic process delta s equal to 0 so this will be equal to s1 so i need properties h and s why i need h because specific work output of turbine wt will be equal to what h1 minus h2 yes i will say okay i will say this is maximum that will be h1 minus h2 yes so i need enthalpy and entropy etc so how to do this so now let us take from the steam tables from the steam table for 100 bar 600 degrees centigrade the state is for 100 bar 600 degree centigrade the state is superheated vapor so from superheated table property table at 100 bar 
or 400 bar at 600 degree centigrade h1 will be obtained as 3625 kilo joule per kg similarly s1 will be got as 6.903 kilo joule per kg kelvin okay now we will continue so s2s yes, equal to s1 equal to 6.903 kilo joule per kg kelvin okay now p2 is given as 0.1 bar so now we can see that state 2s yes, that is the when the we will also plot this to understand better ts diagram will be used for this so here this is the so 100 bar pressure this thing 600 so state 1 and state 2 is 0 0.1 100 bar this is state 1 and the state 2 now state 2 yes will be somewhat here so here let us say this is 2 because it basically comes like this yes 2 yes equal to yes 1 in this point so now this is 2 yes this is 0 0.1 bar pressure okay and this is the 0 0.1 bar so this is the expansion isentropic expansion shown by solid line okay straight line vertically down line okay now please see that i have to calculate the state 2 now from saturation table for 0.1 bar okay i can take the values of sf equal to 0 0.649 kilo joule per kg kelvin sg equal to 8.15 kilo joule per kg kelvin so now i find that sf is less than s2s is less than sg so the state 2s is saturated mixture so now what i can do i will find the quality x2s is equal to, equal to 6.903 minus 0 0.649 divided by 8.15 minus 0 0.649 which is equal to 0 0.8337 i'll find the exit state specific enthalpy h2s equal to hf plus x2s into hg minus hf which is at the point one at point one bar so from point one bar saturation table i would take hf and hg value and uh, find this so this h2s will come out as 2187.01 so that means the specific work in isentropic process will be equal to h1 minus h2s which is equal to 3625 minus 2187.1 which will be equal to 1437.989 is not one okay so this is kilo joules per kg so this will be also kilo joule per kg so this is the maximum possible work specific work done by the turbine which is possible only when the process is isentropic process okay there is no change in the entropy s2 s equal to s1 so that is the first part second part b isentropic efficiency equal to 0.9 it's given so now what is this so now the actual state 2 will be sorry like this i cannot draw a 
solid line i will do da da dashed line so this is the actual state 2 it may not be at this this is 2s yes. okay now this is one bar pressure line now the actual state will be like this here so this will be 2 actual state 2 okay so you can see that the entropy now increases s1 is equal to s2 is equal to s1 but s2 is greater than s1 the entropy due to irreversibility will increase okay you know that so adiabatic process the entropy will increase only due to irreversibility so that is what is this so i can write entropy isentropic efficiency will be equal to h1 minus h2 divided by h1 minus h2 yes which is actual work specific work divided by the isentropic specific work so that is equal to 0.9 which implies the actual specific work will be equal to 0.9 times the isentropic specific work which will be equal to 1294.19 kilojoule per kg now you can see that the actual output is lesser than the isentropic because of this uh, irreversibility okay now what is this basically h1 minus h2 so i can find h2 from this as 2330.8 0.809 kilo joule per kg so now i what is the state 2 actual state 2 state 2 is p2 equal to 0.1 bar and h2 equal to 2330.809 kilo joule per kg okay this is the state 2 now <coughs> we can see that the from the saturation we have we have to see that hg at p2 is greater than h2 so the state is saturated that is mixture saturated mixture so we can find x2 actual x2 equal to what h2 minus hf divided by hg minus hf so which is equal to 0 0.89378 so now you find that the quality when there is a isentropic process the quality was 0.8337 now the quality has increased to 0.89378 because the entropy has increased no so the quality has increased this is benefit of the irreversible process when you have higher quality at the exit of the turbine the turbine life will increase so that is the benefit if you have an isentropic process, the quality is lower, the quality has improved here, but work has reduced. You can work in isentropic process is 1437, it has reduced to 1294. Okay. So this is this. Then I find uh, since S2 S2 is got uh, X2 is got, S2 can be found as SF plus X2 into SG minus SF, which is equal to 7.353 kilo joule per kg kelvin okay so now what is delta s s2 minus s1 specific entropy change will be equal to 7. Point final 7.353 minus initial is 6.903 so which is equal to 0 0.45 kilo joule per kg Kelvin. So, this is the difference. So, we have found all the things which are asked. First one is basically when what is the maximum possible work, specific work that is possible only when the reversible process occurs in the expansion. So, adiabatic expansion reversibly occurring where it is isentropic. So, delta is equal to 0. When in that case, we can find the state 2 yes as s2 s equal to s1 and p2 equal to 0.1 from that we find the quality x2 s then 
enthalpy then with the enthalpy change we can find the uh, work output now when the isentropic efficiency is given then we can calculate the actual work from which we can calculate the actual exit enthalpy specific enthalpy from that enthalpy value and the pressure value we can fix the state that is p2 equal to 0.1 bar h2 equal to 2330.809 kilo joule per kg now with that enthalpy we can find what is the state in this case it is a saturated mixture with the quality of 0.89378 the quality is improved now uh, from that i can calculate the s yes. and uh, once final state s is known the specific enthalpy change s2 minus s1 can be calculated so this is the answer for this then the third problem uh, fifth problem is steam enters an insulated nozzle so nozzle insulated nozzle again steam okay insulated nozzle at 8 bar 8 bar and 200 degrees centigrade with a negligible velocity so i'll say v this is state 1 our entry state and exit state so v1 equal to 0 and exits at 2 bar 2 bar for steady operation calculate the exit velocity so steady operation steady state steady flow calculate exit velocity and exit state of the steam isentropic efficiency is given as 0.95 that is the thing so isentropic efficiency is given so that means first i have to assume the process the expansion process as isentropic then i calculate the exit velocity okay so let v 2 s be the velocity when the process is isentropic ok now and I can say v 2 be the actual exit velocity ok with considering the isentropic efficiency ok the state exit state pressure is 2 bar in both the cases ok now how to do this so now again you can say p1 equal to 8 bar p2 equal to 2 bar t1 equal to 200 degree centigrade ok now from this p1 and t1 i can find h1 from the stables so state 1 first of all state 1 is superheated stable state So that means H1 from the tables you can take H1 as 2839 kilo joule per kg and entropy also I want correct. So entropy at state 1 will be equal to 6.816 kilo joule per kg Kelvin. So these are the values. Now for isentropic process p2 equal to 2 bar and s2 s equal to s1 equal to 6.816 kilo joule per kg kelvin so with this i can fix the state 2 so from saturation tables for 2 bar I will get the values of SF equal to 1.53 kilo joule per kg Kelvin and SG equal to 7.127 kilo joule per kg Kelvin. 
So now I find that SF is less than S2S is less than SG. So the state 2S is saturated mixture. Okay, saturated mixture. So I will find the X. X2S is equal to 6.816 minus 1.53 divided by 7.127 minus 1.53 is equal to 0 0.9444. So from this I can find the enthalpy this as HF plus X2S into HG minus HF. These are all taken at 2 bar. So this is equal to 504.7 plus 0 0.9444 into 2707 minus 504.7 which is equal to 2584 2584.63 kilojoule per kg. Okay, so this is fixed now. So we can apply the first law. First law for the nozzle. For nozzle u dot minus w x dot equal to m dot into h2 minus h1. Okay, now please see this. No, sorry, this is kinetic energy of that. I mean, this here for this final state kinetic energy. Yes, so I have told that let V2S be the velocity when the process is isentropic. So for that, I can add this. This is also H2S. Okay, minus H1. That's it. So this is this. But please see it is insulated. So this is 0. Then there is no work involved in this nozzle. So that means I can write this equation. So 0 equal to this. H2 plus V2. 2s by 2 equal to h1 or please see that h1 and h2 are in kilo joule per kg. So that means v2s square by 2 should be written as v2s by 2000 that you have to remember. Okay, So now I can say v 2s square equal to 2000 into h1 minus h2s. Okay, that is the equation. So from this, I can get v2s itself as 713.26 meter per second. So from zero velocity, it is accelerated to 713.26 meter per second. Now, adiabatic efficiency or isentropic efficiency of the nozzle is given as 0 0.95 which is equal to what? It is equal to V actual kinetic energy kinetic energy due to the actual velocity V2A divided by the kinetic energy due to the isentropic expansion. Okay. So that is the isentropic efficiency definition of this because the process is isentropic that will give you highest higher, higher velocity. But any irreversibility present, any irreversibility present during expansion like friction etc. will reduce the velocity. So V2A will be less than V2S. So the kinetic energy due to the actual process will be less than the kinetic energy due to the isentropic process. So this implies V2A is equal to 600. 95.2 meter per second. You can calculate this. Okay, this is the velocity. So you can see that due to irreversibility, but not much. I think the efficiency is 0.95. So there's a reduction in the corresponding reduction in the uh, velocities between the isentropic process and the actual process. So now we have to calculate using this. I can write for actual process. Okay, H2 
plus v two a v two a square divided by two thousand equal to h one. So from this I can get h two equal to. Okay, I'll put h two a also. I can put h two a equal to what from this equation. So we know v two a now. H one is known. So from that I can get this is two five nine seven point three five. Kilo joule per kg. Okay, now state two a is fixed as P two equal to two bar. The pressure doesn't change, but the enthalpy now is used. H equal to H two a equal to two five nine seven point three five kilo joule per kg. So now I find that H two a Is less than H G at two bar, so which implies state is saturated mixture. So that means X two A can be found as H two A minus H F divided by H G minus H F. These are all got at two bar, so which is equal to two. Five nine seven point three five minus five hundred and four point seven divided by two seven not seven minus five hundred and four point seven, which is equal to zero point nine five. That is the final state. So that is what is asked here. Correct. Exit velocity and exit state. Exit state is the if it is a saturated mixture, then you have to specify the quality. As the exit state, or if it is superheated, then you have to give the temperature or any other property. So this is the problem. So isentropic efficiency in these two problems, basically the isentropic efficiency is used. Isentropic efficiency is given like this. The actual process is shown in the dashed line. Is the here the actual process? The isentropic process is a solid vertical line. So if you can see that the isentropic process. Produces higher work output for a work producing device, or higher kinetic energy in nozzle, and so on. Similarly, if the irreversibility reduces the work output and uh, reduces the kinetic energy, so we cannot precisely measure this by experiments. We can specify what is called the isentropic efficiency. Based upon that, you consider an ideal case of isentropic expansion. Get the work output or kinetic energy, etc., for the isentropic process. Then use the isentropic efficiency to calculate the actual work output or actual kinetic energy, and so on. So that these are the two things which we have seen now. Okay.